Okay, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to build these models some more for the game engine. And so, uh, in one part of it I've showed in another tutorial, but with the thousands of tutorials out there, it's not likely that you've seen it, because there's just so many. Even of my own, I have 500 plus. So, th this is the same model from yesterday, but I just applied a color to it. So, if I was going to use this in a game environment, I might do a couple things. First is, I would maybe join them all together. So maybe I'll just go into this mode here, and that way I don't, I'll get, let's see if anything else, uh, this, since that's the only thing connected, it really doesn't matter, I'll turn the lights back on, I'll just join it all, make sure you joined. So now it's a single model. Well, it is except for those pieces there, which I don't really need. Those are roof structures that I was going to use uh, for particles, but since I won't, I won't need those for this particular lesson, so I'll just move this. We'll just to know, you know what we're going to do? We'll put this onto another layer. Okay, that's better. Now maybe what I want to do is, I'm going to go into this model, and I'm going to make a copy of it. So, Shift DX. I'm going to build like a little city here. I'm going to show you how I actually use these in the game engine like this. And then I'm going to go back into this individual model. I'm just going to press U, and I'm going to make sure it has its own material. That way I can come over here and change it to another color. Like that. And then maybe I'll do it again, and I'll do Shift DX. And I'll do the same with this one over here. Make sure I press U so it's a new material. Maybe I'll make that a kind of, some kind of sienna looking color of some sort. And then I don't want them all to be the same shape. So then I'll just go into one of them. Go into edit mode. Make sure back faces are visible. Back polygons are visible. Usually I work in orthogonal mode for this real quick. And then maybe I just want to change up the shape of this. So I'll press A, make sure everything is deselected. B, grab this, maybe move that over like that. A, B again, grab that, move this like this, and then maybe one more time. And then maybe make this a wider angle building of some sort. So there's my new designer building, and I'll leave edit mode. And then maybe the whole thing I'll just make shorter. So I, you get the idea. I'm just changing up the shapes. A little bit and this one well maybe we just want this to be a taller building so as Z I'll just make that a tall building so I have a little bit of variety in the scene and a little bit of color and maybe the spacing is like this so then once I have all this then what I do is I can take everything and I'll just combine all of these together so I'll get these together and I'm just going to join those right and so now they're all one object no, no, it joined it, or it must have pressed it twice or something like that. Okay, so now that I have that, then I'll go use the array modifier, like we've done before. Grab the array modifier, and there we go. Now we'll just separate that out a little bit here. So maybe there's there's those there's the beginning of my city, right? Like this. I'm gonna make this way out there too. So I'll just do SX and I'll just type in 20. Then it extends it way out there like that. And then I'll do SY and type in 20. It extends that way out. Like this. So now I have a couple of these in the scene. And then, well, since I have all of these, then I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to do it one more time. In this case, I'll do it in the Y direction. And you're really going to see where this comes into play in a second. I'll just separate that out like that and give that a... Okay, so now we have my little world being built like this, and I'll apply that. And the cool thing about that is that when I grab this, this is all one single model now. So then when I use that command if you from the game engine, you saw where you add the object from the second layer or, or just from a, any non-visible layer into the scene, then you just lay it in at any particular point. You, and you can adjust it by changing your position or your origin. It's right here. So... Uh, you, a lot of times I just go in here, I press AA, and then I can move the whole thing and maybe move my origin to some particular location that I want. Like that. So there's my origin there instead as I move the thing around. Okay, well I hope that gives you some ideas about working in the game engine or otherwise. And I'll see you in the next lesson.